some ripe papayas. I'm gonna pick some papayas. May not be ready to eat yet, but I'm hungry, so I'll see if we can find. We actually have some ripe ones already. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is probably going to take a few days to fully ripen, but we, we pick them here because if we let this continue ripening there, the birds will eat them. So this is far enough along, it'll now finish perfectly well in just two or three days. And we'll have an amazing papaya. Our papayas here are some of the best we've ever had. these in here where the critters, including the cats, can't get to them. Now these up here are all ones that we've harvested. These are some of the ones we actually brought from somewhere else. There they go. It's, it's great to be able to harvest our own fruit here because they take a few days to ripen. So we have, we have some that are almost ready. We have some that are five days away, we have some that are four days away, and some that are three days away. Some that we'll probably eat today. Hi, it's Lauren, and I'm here in my kitchen, and I love papaya. In fact, 
talking about papayas, there's not too many things better than a papaya, except a papaya that was picked here. Uh, because when we're talking about eating things that are picked here, we're talking about eating things that are as fresh as possible. And this doesn't necessarily work with, with very large papayas like the ones you'll see in Mexico sometimes. And the, the little strawberry papayas, which have to be really soft. But when you're talking about a papaya of this size, one of, there's various varieties in this size range. You can tell it's ripe when you can gently make an indentation without pushing hard. I don't need to use my arm, just gentle thumb pressure, and I can make a little, little divot there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I can easily dent that with just my thumb. And I know that that's ripe and ready to go. Chances are good, it's gonna be amazing. Because when you grow food the way we do here, using permaculture techniques, everything is fresh, everything is amazing. Look at the color on that. Incredible. Now, um, you may have seen my video about papaya seeds. Uh, some people think papaya seeds have medicinal qualities, and they do. Medicinal substances are toxic substances which suppress symptoms, so I'm not going to eat the seeds. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop them out, and I'm going to eat the amazingly delicious flesh. The seeds don't really taste very good anyway. Uh, it's kind of peppery. I guess some people like that, but that's once your system's clean, that's not a flavor you probably want. So, wow, amazing, amazing. So papaya is one of my favorite fruits. Um, it's probably right up there with about a thousand others, right? There's so many fruits I love, but, but a good papaya is incredible. And we've got, I don't know how many, probably hundreds of papaya plants here. And so, um, although we're still on harvesting as many as I'd like to, we still buy some papayas. Um, there are times where we harvest a lot of them and there's nothing like our own fresh papayas. So enjoy, uh, I will, and <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm. By the way, I was just thinking, you know, this, one of the things about papayas, they're high in water content, which of course is a plus. We want to be focused on things that are high in water content. They're easy to digest and they taste amazing. And I know sometimes if you don't have much experience with papayas, um, it might taste a little funky at first, but this variety doesn't have that strong funky thing going on. So I love these. I think they're amazing and could eat these every single day and probably would if I didn't have a watermelon. Uh, watermelon is probably my all-time favorite, the one I go to more than anything else, but um, papaya is probably my second. As much as I love things like durian and mangoes and mangosteens and uh, champadac and so many other things, uh, rolinia, those are things I probably wouldn't want to eat every single day, and this is something I could easily eat every single day. Take care.